Has this ever happened to you? It probably has. And you might have been wondering, how does this guy have such lightning fast reflexes when getting to the crane and I don't? Today, I'll be showing you the secret that people use to get a crane every time in CFOs. The goal by the end of the video is to understand whether your tune spawns left or right before the crane round starts so that you'll know which direction to turn and you don't have to rely solely on reflexes. The way to know where you'll spawn is based off where your tune sits in elevator positions or boarding group positions. Every position on the elevator or boarding group is assigned to a certain spawn. The spawning isn't random. Every spawn and elevator or boarding group position correlate to each other every single time. The information in this tutorial applies to all Toontown servers, not just Corporate Clash. Here's the most simplified version of which direction you have to turn after the crane cutscene ends. In a CFO run, look at where your tune sits in the elevator and memorize if you have to turn left or right in the upcoming crane round. For boarding groups, it doesn't matter how empty or full it is. The order of whether you turn right or left remains consistent. This information is important to memorize. In the description below, I'll have a link to all the important screenshots that you can use for reference. Another useful thing to know is who you're competing with for a crane. In other words, who is going to spawn next to you. Here's a simple diagram. Tunes in each corner are competing with the tune in the corner diagonal from them. The four tunes in the middle are competing with the tune straight ahead or behind them. Here's an exact representation of how the numbering system works. This isn't necessary to know, but this is just to get a better understanding of how the spawn positions work. Aside from elevator positions, it's very useful to use orbital camera when getting to the crane. It's much faster than just using keys. If you don't have a mouse or are uncomfortable with orbital, that's okay. At least you know which direction to turn. Another thing to note is make sure your camera is in a comfortable position before the craning cutscene starts. You don't want to spawn with your camera facing a completely random direction. With this information, you should be able to secure a crane much more often. Use the references I provided if you're serious about getting better at craning and need more consistent practice. As a side note, if the crane round isn't going well and there are more experienced players that didn't get a crane, I recommend passing the crane to another team. That's it for this tutorial. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.